Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back into another AFK Journey video. Today we are going to be knocking out some honor duels that you guys have requested. These are going to be our daily honor duels for the 413-24 edition. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, I made the camera a little bit smaller. I hope I'm taking up less space and everything so you guys can see everything. So let's take a look and see what we have. Five seconds in a battle, every 10 seconds heals a wilder healer. He oh, that's a good one. Um, this is also good and this one is also good as well. We're gonna go with the wilder choice right here because we did get two characters that we like to use already. Um, I, I like grabbing this one early for uh, pretty much frontline heroes. I feel like it adds a little bit of value in the beginning of the game and it falls off pretty quickly by like turn three or four once we start getting those purples. So we'll go ahead and lock one of those in place for now. We're gonna try to get, ooh, this is also good for a frontline hero. Both two good items, okay. We're gonna try to have 53 before we start pulling. Ah, there we go, boom. Okay, that put us in a predicament now. Yeah, we gotta go for a random just to get at least our five heroes out there. Not too bad, not too bad. Now we can't, yeah, we can't really get items now, but we got a legendary off first turn and we got three wilders, our healer. So we should be okay. I'm probably gonna be using he win, um, by Brian and uh iran for sure and then we'll probably use tamicia and our boy seth we know we get heals on them so we don't want to put him in a situation where he's gonna die super quick we might just have to fill this side right here uh, which is what i'm gonna do that way if they go th some characters over here we'll take them out pretty early if not, we're going to be able to make it back there. Uh, this and this. Actually, oh, snap. Man, we might have to sacrifice our healer on this one because of what we just did. Oh, if we do her over there, we are screwed. That is an epic fail. All right, we're going to hope that Tamisia gets at least like a bump or something on Vala and uh, it gives Hewen enough time to get a, at least one ult off and we're hoping this gives a little bit of healing before then okay we took out oh good we took out both of their front lines pretty early we should be solid now Tamisia did get that bump that I wanted and yep there we go what you gonna do, girl? You ain't gonna do much, except for take this L right here. Brilliant. All right, good job, team. Good job. Solid, solid. Ooh, okay. Hmm. We could grab him for a second tank and then do three, two. I should have looked at the uh, chart. I did not look at the chart. I'm going to undo both of these because now we're in a situation where we're not going to be able to buy it with the stack anyways. And we definitely want to grab... Uh, I'm going to lock him just worst case scenario. Yeah, we got one more reroll to try and get one of these to be wilder. Okay, we did not get it. So yeah, we're going to go this route that... I wanted in the first place because she's not gonna make a difference if I buy her right at this moment I am gonna grab this item right here we're gonna reroll once and then we're gonna have enough to get rid of some uh, characters and buy some items so let's go ahead and put this on our put it on Tamisia. Uh, let's go to hero sale the reason I'm selling these heroes is to be able to get one more item since we have a solid five right now, a two, three, which will give us a synergy. It allows us to get one more item in here. We'll grab this because we did unlock the, uh, 
the chest. So we'll have both of our front lines having a little bit more health because they're not getting that, uh, they're not getting this right here, the heal from the Wilder's uh, Tranquil Flask. So I need them to stay a little bit healthy, whereas they'll inherently be healthy in the battle because of that flask or because of the relic. Oh, I was tripping. I thought my mic was muted. <laughs> I was like, damn, I just said all this stuff for nothing. All right, cool. This is a solid, this is a solid arena for what we have right now. We'll throw out our front line, see what they're going to do. So they're going Graveborn. They could have a Sylvana. And she's most likely going to go somewhere on this side. So again, we will uh, kind of sacrifice our Hewin to be the one that gets targeted. If they have a Sylvana, of course, it looks like they're going to have a tank because they left that spot open. Oh, they did not. Dude, they got both rogues in the back. Ooh, that's dirty. That is dirty. And we're focusing. Okay. This is going to be a rough match. Do Does Tamisia survive long enough to take them down? That is the question. I don't think so. I think she's out of there. What did they have? The nectar? Yeah. That's not really doing anything for them, but Ah, uh, those two rogues took us out. I was not, I was not expecting that. Grants allied heroes 48 vitality 30 seconds we're gonna go for this and hope we get to the late game this one's just it's not gonna do anything for us right now the the matches don't last long enough for us to even utilize that okay we're gonna keep her locked okay we grab this okay now we got really nothing truly nothing that we can use and there's nothing on here uh, locking this, re-roll it once. Nothing on that one. This one, this is a pretty unlucky run, I can say right now. Both of those wilder pools, uh, the three stacks that we did, they were not the ideal ones that we would want. The characters, we got unlucky with both of those, which sometimes that happens. Okay, maybe we can dodge some rogues on this one. They're not going to jump over here unless they have a Vala. Uh, we're going to put her back. We're going to put her behind and get him up in the front. Actually, I might go two healers on this one. Or three damage. Or two damage. Yeah, I'm going to go two damage. Um, let's throw her back here. Okay, they have a split. Interesting. We're going to protect him and get our Hewin back here. We're trying to spread out now that I see her. I don't want her to ult on everyone's heads. And these three shouldn't have to move anywhere, so they're not going to move from the spots where they are. Sh looks like they left that open for another tank. Okay, so they are 2-2-1. Two, two, and what do they have? Should be getting our ults up soon. There we go. Our Lucius has his ult up again. And he ulted on literally no one but himself because he's selfish. But early game Tamisia does good work. She puts in that work. Look at her slapping them cheeks. My is yeah, I, I was almost positive she did the most damage. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're locking that for Hewin for sure. Actually, I'm probably going to buy that this round. Holy cow, that's a mythic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, we can grab both of these bad boys. But I'm not going to have enough. I'm not going to have enough to get that. And this is a game changer. That is more of a game changer than her legendary. Uh, we are not using you. Oh, we wouldn't even be able to get it. We would not even be able to get it. Okay. We're going to grab her and get the legendary. We'll get that next turn. 
And we got a mythic on turn four. We got blessed. We got screwed in the beginning, and then we got blessed. Arle Chino. Arlick Chino. Uh huh. Yeah, this one we are definitely protecting our back line. We don't need the. He's going to do enough damage to where we don't have to have multiple damage out there. Oh, they got a double tank like me. Uh, yes, here and then you here. Now I'm scared because they could have a Vala or a Silvana. But I'm almost positive our Mythic is enough to survive through whatever it is that they do. Okay, Vala's going for the healer. Not bad. Let's see how much damage he puts out early on. As long as he doesn't get stunned. Oh, he, man, he's tearing up that Tamisia in the back. Oh, he's not letting her move. Oh my goodness, he disrespected her. There goes our healer. Oh, they, they're done. They're done. They let this man ramp. Yeet. Boy, got, dude, he got the Spirit Drive Uno crown right there. I just noticed that. That's hilarious. He really believes that he is Uno from Black Clover. Sylph. The little fairy. He got the, instead of the fairy, he has that little uh, bird. Okay. 100% grabbing that for he win. Now we can start hunting for some items. Uh, I am going to grab this. Uh, we do not need to lock him because we already got that dude mythic. And uh, grants all allied heroes with this equipment 35 haste if more than one hero has it. Also, two people have to have those boots. This is nice, too. We could get we can get that on someone to. Um, to boost him up a little bit. What did we what did we just buy? OK, let me put these on before I forget. You going here, you going there. And then you going. Oh, yeah. OK. Uh, this and then I'm going to have to put it on her and sacrifice her item because she can go anywhere truly. And then she's just going to move to where she needs to go anyways. So the reason I'm swapping this out, that way you guys can understand, is because this character right here is not diverted by walls or characters or anything. She kind of has like a no, uh, like she could pass through anything. So we don't care where we put her. We already have a tank and we already have a second front line. So we're kind of good putting this here to give him that uh, ability. I could switch this over here just to make sure he survives a little bit longer which I'm debating right now. That's what I'm thinking. I, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. I think he should be good because he basically gets two lives with that. And uh, she is going to ult right away. So everyone's going to be pretty healthy in the beginning. I would say the only thing that's going to uh, stop us. Oh, wait, I have two of these. I'm tripping. Well, there you go. There you go. The only thing that is probably going to like thwart our plans is if they have that blue flower where uh, they can sacrifice a little bit of HP to use their ultimate a little bit quicker. Or if they have this Sylvana crown, which they have. Jesus, that's the one I was trying to get to right now and say, but... Ah, no bueno. We're doing this. No, we're not. We're doing... We're doing this, and I'm going to leave these two spots open so that way I can put him in one of these. Put them two in one of those two. I would have liked to have all three, but I, she's going to move out of the way, so there's going to be no one to protect this side. Okay, good. Sylvanas. Ooh, she's going to jump on... She's going to jump on one of these spots right here. So she's going to jump on her regardless. No, she's going to jump on him regardless. Ah, oh, man, that's what I was worried about. I, yeah, I might have to sacrifice his damage that he's going to get to just make sure. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. 
We're good, but is she gonna turn off of Tamisia to get to him? I, I'm not too sure. We're gonna find out though. Cause she's gonna hop back there. Tamisia is gonna start booking it. Bro, oh my god. Okay, she hopped over to Lucia, Lucius because why? That I don't understand. This is a close match. That ult was huge from here on. That ult was massive. Oh, we got two. Yeah, we're we win. We win. Now I I don't understand uh, Silvana with that crown yet. Like what her actual tracking is, the reason for it. I'm assuming that she once she gets a kill, she like teleports to the next person she wants to start attacking. I'm assuming she goes to whoever has the lowest HP. That's what it's looked like so far. That's what I'm assuming she does. Uh, increases damage dealt for the first 15 seconds. I'm going to lock this and see how fast the battles are going um, after this match. That way I can make a decision to put that on him. Uh, or just go ahead and pass that one up. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. That was kind of a waste. Uh, we'll grab this for now. We have that locked. Uh, no one else we need. Hmm. We are going to need to, at some point, transition off of our light bearers. So, Parissa is definitely someone we want on the team. Uh, this one also... We're going to lock that one as well, just so we can see... Increase basic stats if no allies are placed next to the carrier. We can't use that on anyone. Not right now. Not the, not with this item on her. We can use it on him if we didn't have this on her. Because that's what we're trying to go for. Control effects. Don't really care about that. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab this, reroll once, and then just lock whatever we get here. Which was literally nothing. This is also good, but uh, I think what we have is a little bit better. We will do this. I like this little combo right here that they have because she can just run away anywhere. We'll probably switch this over to Iron later, only if we get him Mythic, because it'll allow him to use his ult at any, like right at the beginning. Uh, I think we're solid with something like that for now. And we got two lives left and we have a mythic already so we're we're in a good spot we're in a definitely a good spot going forward and we're fighting against a chicken we should not be afraid of the chicken now we should be terrified of the chicken they got obsidian the obsidian earring the silly graveborn team again all right we got this we got this he wins going here because that doesn't lock up any two spots. We have all three two spots open, so we can do this combo in any three spots that we want. She's getting her ult off immediately or very fast. Okay, so they don't have an item on her, which means that we should be able to get her down before she has the chance to like ult, which is annoying. She'll most likely get her ult off once because she's kind of protected back there. I don't think Sylvana could jump to anyone anywhere if I go over here. I don't think she's jumping to, to either of them over there. I could be mistaken, though, but I don't think that any of these will target over there. Again, we keep on sacrificing our healer, sadly. But she got that old off. Uh, Sylvana, I hate you. Get out of here. Are you still alive? Oh, we did not get... We She ulted and then died. Oh, yeah. Get everyone out of here. Bro, can y'all take this damn... Okay, she's out of there. That Cecilia got two ults off. That was rather annoying. 
Okay. And you out of there, buddy. Oh, I can't wait to get a good item on him. He's popping off. That oh boy popping. Do, do, do. Uh huh. What do we get? Okay. Yeah, he was popping off. Dang, I didn't look at the time of that last battle again. Doesn't let me look anywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let that one go. I feel like it's a little bit too risky. Yes, we want you, but let's check these real quick. Uh-huh. We'll lock it. I did not lock it. That's okay. My bad. I messed up. Uh, we'll lock this bad boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, we haven't got Granny yet. We haven't had a transition moment to be able to get our... Um, our team going. Nothing here is going to give us anything. So I'm not going to spend it. Because we could get Granny next round and transition into it. And we already have everything else kind of set up to go full wilder. So we're going to save this. Normally, I, I'll, I'll re-roll. Uh, but we're going to save this. How it is. <sighs> Dude, check out this Goku shirt. This dope. Little chibi GT Goku. Okay. Boom. Boom. This is not blocking any splot, spots. Splots. So the reason I keep putting her in singular spots is because I don't want to block anything that allows us to use this combo. So she's always going to go in a spot that just... or It'd be only these two right now that are open uh, where she's not going to block that. Plus, she doesn't need to move. She uses her ultimate pretty quick. So we know we're, we're pretty safe even if she gets jumped to. Which would like pretty much take up all those. So they have a mythic as well. And the item that they have is is the shoots the S extra missile to the weakest enemy. Dealing 40% damage. Uh, we should negate that with her healing pretty early. I think I'm just going to go back here. I'm not really worried about any beast jumping to us. And uh, it separates them, which will be staying back here for any AOE damage. Uh, yes, that looks good. Oh, dude, I didn't look at their relic. Oh, that's annoying. Who's get? Who's going first? That 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 matters. Oh, sheesh. Oh, well, put them. Put them in an interesting spot, honestly. But they're all bunched up. This is this is one of those where it's rough. Okay. Nah. We're getting slapped. Man, that relic is huge, bro. He was just unable to unable to get going. Alright, now we gotta play a little bit more smart. Man, if we could get two Erons off of this right here and then pick up both of those and get a Mythic, that would be massive. We did not, and we still haven't gotten our tank, and we keep on getting keep on getting bullshit right there. Okay, we're locking both of those. Unlocking him, because we have to get a Granny at this point. Let's Let's get rid of everything that we are not going to use. So we're not going to use you, we're not going to use you, we are not going to use you, and we are not going to use you. So we got 62 to hunt for two more of these. I'm going to grab one to clear up a spot. We got 47 to hunt for... We wouldn't be able to get it anyways. So we need 45. We need a granny. There she is. Boom. Okay. That was good. 
That was good, 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 good. Now we can sell him. Yeah, now we're looking solid. Ah, damn, I don't have enough to... Now this combo is going to be a little bit interesting. Because we're going to have to put our damage dealers together. No, we're not. We are just going to go like this. And uh, I think we're going to do this right here. We're going to switch those up. I need him to get an ult off at least. Especially now that we have Parissa. She, she's epic. So that's the thing that worries me. But she's going to get 40% damage reduction. If she's getting all the uh, attention on everyone. Might as well just grab this to clear up that spot. Since we're not going to be able to buy anything else right now. Let's go. We gotta be real careful with this next fight. Oh my god, it's that same item, bro. <sighs> I have an idea. I don't know if it is going to actually work. But we're gonna try it. So my idea is placing them two more in the back and we're going to put our damage dealers a little bit further up. I don't want to put them here. And my reasoning is, is that this one, uh, two seconds into battle, it's going to teleport the farthest person away to them. So I'm hoping that two seconds is the time that it takes for him to get from here to here. And it'll take him. Or if it just um, sees that he was the furthest one back when the thing started and it automatically goes for him. If not, it's taken her. And we have to sacrifice that heal. Hopefully she gets it off before she dies when she gets to the other side. Right now, they don't have any big burst right off rip, like any rogues or anything. Uh, Vala would not be able to kill her fast enough as well if they go another light bearers. But, okay, so I think we're, we're solid. Okay. Wow. Nah. They're, they're... Man, that is such a rough relic. That's such a rough relic. I think the only way we beat that relic is if we had Iron already, already mythic. So we got five points off of that. Not a bad run. Uh, not the best one, but oh, dude, they're tempting me to go Wilders again. Now nah, we're going. Uh, we're going Grugling Mask, and we're going. Um, yeah, we're going Grooglin Mask. Grooglin. And we're going freaking Beast Boys and Beast Girls. Well, Beast Boys and Girls with Animal Ears. Do, do, do. Do we want anything from here for anyone that we have right now? No. We do want this, though. And we have our five. And we'll grab these two items to have items off rip. Obviously, we want this to go to our tank and for our attack speed I'll probably put it on him. He's probably gonna be like the little main carry right now I would assume he's gonna do the most damage because we're gonna buff that man with her They're gonna be our front line Her little buff gives them like uh, attack damage or attack speed buff or something like that. I gotta look at it again I always forget what it is Oh, and, and, and this is kind of good because we don't truly have a back line. She'll be the back line. She's going to get kind of slapped for being there. There we go. And then it's going to be boom, boom right there. And then she should target him because he's to the left of her. Oh, they got something similar going on. And they got an Odie. Uh, which one is it right here? Bless an ally. 
Tidal Strength deals 60% extra magic damage to the enemy. Once the Blessing ally hits them with normal attacks, the Blessing vanishes. It's triggered nine times. Kind of will bless this ally after nine seconds. Okay, yeah, so... This is for research. Boom. This uh, one right here, I forgot to show you guys, my bad. The Groogling Mask reduces all of their HP by 50% at the start of the battle. Last two left, so they're just getting hit by that lucky cage. Oh, if she would have got her ult off, I'm almost positive she would have 1v3'd them. Mm hmm. Who do we want them to ult quicker? I do want someone to ult quicker. I'm thinking about it. Let's grab this. Oh, we should have grabbed that smoky right there. We're locking that. We are locking that. We're going to sell someone. Yeah, sorry. You're out of there. We'll keep everyone for now. I am going to grab this. And I would like for you to ult a little bit quicker. Actually, no. I'll swap that up. Nope. Do this. This, this. Seth kind of roll attack speed. Yeah, let's go with Odie. Do we do need a back line? Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. All right, mirror match with the item, with the relic. I come to protect. Uh, this, this. We know we want him in the back. And then we could decide between her and one other person. Oh, so they put their damage dealer in the front? Who's my okay. Next Seth. All is known to me except Better slap myself. that girl's cheeks right now. She should be out of there. I think they're all targeting her. Yeah, she should be out of there. Damn, bro. They, I forgot that they had that same relic, but this is close. I don't know if Brutus has used his... No, he hasn't yet. But is that enough to do anything? Oh, she gave him a huge shield. On Tundra holding it absolutely down. One more ult off, baby. Get that one more ult. Take him down. Take him down. Take. Oh, he's he's knocking both. Oh, that was close, bro. He took so much damage. I was scared he was about to one shot both of them. Grab that smoky. Um. Yes, yes. Does anyone do like? Big ult damage on this team. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're solid with something like this. Now, I am going to switch her item to Smokey. So that way he can get his ult off a little bit quicker. Because we are going to be using him. And I need to pay attention to the uh, stats afterwards. To see who's putting in that work. That way we can start ramping them up a little bit. Oh, this Sylvanas crown, bro. Oh my goodness. That means they have a legendary too. Cuz they got it one start already. I come to protect. She still doesn't have an item. This man still don't have an item and he has to go here. Time for work again. New foes, new challenges. Oh yeah, we're losing that one. 
They got a lot of items everywhere. A lot of good, uh, or they got two good items. Not a lot of items, but they got a good item on him. He's just doing the increased damage. We got attack speed. But we're hoping, um, actually, you know what? Can we force that Sylvanas? I'm going to put him back here, so that way, hopefully, he helps Smokey with Sylvanas when she jumps. Or Sylv Sylvania? Sylvanas? What is her name? Sylvina. Sylvina. Oh my gosh, I forgot that crown disrespects everyone. Yeah, we're out of there. I, I figured that, bro. Every time I see that crown, I'm like, there's no hope. There's just no hope. We don't have light rare, so allied heroes, epic equipment, deal 0.5% more damage for every 1% HP lost. So we can do this and this to get some epic out there. We have that lock. Let's roll once. We can grab our second tank if we want it. Which we will not. And I'm going to grab this just for a little bit more sustain right now. So you are going to go... Seth? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. And you can hold that one just in case. We're going to hope for a Seth and Ton. One of those three. None of them. Um, actually, we can grab this and I wonder if this stacks. Does not say that it does not stack. And usually when that when it says that it's it means that it will. If it doesn't say it, I'm sorry. So let's grab it. We're going to put that on you. All right. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We got to turn this around. We've already lost two rounds. Okay. We have to go heavy on this side because because of the relic that we have, we want to focus the one person as fast as possible to just turn the tide since they're going to lose 50% HP. And we're going to hope that they throw someone over here or throw one or two people over here. They did not. Who else needs a little pick me up? Time for work again. Time for work again. Uh we're gonna sacrifice Odie. Because he's not getting any like major buffs. They're the ones that are truly gonna do the most damage anyways. And we don't want our Smokey to go down. So we're going to go with this. Man, they, they pretty much did the same thing. Youch. That was a rough one. Sometimes you lose everything. That's how it goes. Don't get discouraged, baby. Just keep on going. Go to the next round. You can't give up. We're going to lose a fat load of points, too. We lost more than we've gained so far. Let's try to turn that around. Damn, we dropped down to eight. Get out of here with that. <laughs> I think we will. 
we'll give him some payback with that crown right there. Yes, sir, we will. That's exactly what we're going to do. Yes. Increases damage dealt to enemies two tiles away or closer. She's melee, so that's an obvious one. With this one, the reason I went on her versus anyone else is that just adding that um, the CC that she has when she summons Carlisle first, like the little tanglement, I feel like it's worth it, especially in the first two, three matches where no one has any true good items or sustain yet. That was my thought process behind it. So we 100% have to get our Sylvina up and ready to go. This is an annoying one. Uh, it basically reduces the damage by 15, 50%. That is also, now that I'm thinking about it, could be a counter to this one. And they gave it to them. Everyone Whatever. Must we'll have one tank. You're not even worth we'll throw you here. By the title of the swordsman. Uh, you know what? No. We're not doing that. We're gonna go all Graveborn to get that full synergy on them boys. They got two tanks. A battlefield more merciless than present. Your command. Yes, we're not gonna like do anything by jumping back here, but we will be in the back to target whoever else goes back there. We're not just gonna be jumping on a tank, which is not gonna really do us any good in the first place. At least we'll get to one of them. Come on, CC. I need you to old girl. Does Sylvina do her job? They all they all kind of put in work, actually. They all did solid. Yes. Please give us one right here. Right, we are. We are spread thin. him now I'm gonna use this to just give our thorn a little bit more chance to survive a little bit longer that's kind of the goal for that no one really has like the true items that I'd be happy with them having yet but we're working on getting there right now Everyone. this this She's going to go in the back. Actually, we're going to move her here because it's more likely that they'll fill up those areas and then we just have everything open for Sylvania. Then we have to make a decision. Do we want damage or CC? Okay. On a split synergy like this, they're getting a little bit less in terms of stats. So... I think... I think, I feel, it's safe to go with CC rather than going with flat out damage because we are going to slow down their damage dealers and they don't have a true tank yet. They haven't placed them yet. They do not have a true tank. There we go. That's why that's what I was saying. That uh Cecia ult is so huge early on, but we lost our Sylvina. Yeah, 
that's an L. Ah, <sighs> she's just not popping off. Just need a better item on her. Uh, let's see. Nice. And nice. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. To grab this item for him. And then we get rid of her. And we don't have to worry about building her anymore. But I'm going to hold off on that. And I'm actually going to just straight up grab him right now. And obviously we're doing the damage dealt for our Sylvania, so that way she can pop off. But we're not going to use her as the backline hero for this. We're going to do it for them. And we're going to make sure that he survives long enough to get some ults off. Yeah. So we're one and one right now. One and one. I really want to make this pale crown work. I've yet to been able to like actually take it to the full potential. Oh, it's a mirror match. Of course it is. And I guarantee that their Slovenia is legendary. Let's see if this game wants to play games. Everyone this game wants to play games with me right now. That's what they're doing. Are the most exquisite. Uh, yes, they are. They're going right there. Ooh, okay, she's only epic. Your command. Great material. Are everywhere. Okay, this should be good. I should be good. Do we jump to her first or does she jump to him first? <laughs> oh my god, she got deleted. Oh my gosh, she got deleted. What is the next yeah, she had to. Dude, she one shot her 84k. Yep. That was nice. That was nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, please. Yeah, we want that for the tank. This is also pretty nice for Zecia too. Okay. No. No. Yes. Lock you. that on our boy if we get more copies of uh, Igor obviously we're gonna transition into him but for now that same kind of setup that we've been doing is our best choice of action Azula got the Muriel one Mirel. Everyone wants Battlefield to screams are the most exquisite. Great materials are everywhere. Ooh, okay, we can we can work with that. Because we'll we'll Your jump command. to her instantly too. Feel and then we'll sacrifice her for the focus. We're going to do this, though. So that way we can give him the damage boost again. Mm -hmm. 
She got the ult damage increase with the ult damage increase. Oh, that smoky right there is gonna be. I was gonna say he's terrifying to heal through the damage of my Sylvina, but she said otherwise. Sheesh. That's crazy. That might, I, I'm telling you, this might be the most cracked freaking synergy. Oh, we got two lives left, too. Um, we're going to take a risk here. And what I mean by that is we're going to take a risk <laughs> by... Uh, by not rolling and getting more legendaries. We went for the items. In my mind, uh, those two items are a bigger increase in a buff for the damage that's going to be happening with these characters than just getting a legendary for one of them. It would, it would make a bigger difference. But we have seven left, so we will roll twice to try to secure something for next round. And we do. Solid. So even if we lose this, then we're in a good position because we have items and we're buffing up two characters next round. Helpless Murps. This should be... We should be okay on this one. Everyone we have to go full in on this side. Uh, just kind of the way our, our synergy is going to work. Because if we go here with those two, with those items, then we leave this side open. And we can at least... Not even worth getting up for. We'll leave those two spots open. We can at least... Block someone with Sylvina if we need to go over here since she's going to jump over there anyways. Great so material. the damage up and Recommend. we're going right there. No, do we just, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. So we're going to go right there. Should be good. Oh, we should get him out of there. Yep. Get that Seth out of there. Yes, sir. Everyone looking real healthy. Let's see his ult damage. He's just going to pop their heads. Wow. Vipedian. He might have contested. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He might have contested for the most damage that round. He was popping them bad boys. Like, serious? Is there even a choice? No. We're grabbing both of those. That's the haste one. Uh, we'll skip that. We have enough to grab a legendary, which is what we wanted. Actually, this may be the item that we want to go uh, for Selvinia. And just keep it on her the rest of the game. Unless we get the combo of the Arbiter's Blade and Arbiter's Armor to go with our Thorin and her. I'll test them out since we have two lives left. I, I don't see us losing this next round. It would be kind of silly if we did. Hmm. Yeah, it would be kind of silly if we lost this next round. We're going to free up one of these spots, but neither of them make a difference right now. But regardless, we're going to free up that spot. The synergy has been working pretty well, and we got a huge buff on our... Sylvina because we went legendary and we grabbed um, that item right there that gives us 15% attack and it gives us lifesteal. Plus, if she dies, it'll go to the next strongest person. So it'll jump or the stats of it will go to the next strongest person. Again, this stage again. So same setup. doesn't really matter what they have. It's what we have to do with the team that we have right now. Uh, yep. 
So now that we got her legendary, I do want to open up this back spot to give her the option to get that huge bonus. And that may give her... We may be in a position where it gives her the pop-off potential that she can make a difference. Great materials are everywhere. Yeah, so we'll let them jump on our Cecia. We'll let her jump on the Cecia if she survives long enough. But I think Rowan might be... Or, oh no, it's jumping on. Ooh. Let's see. Is her ult going to be enough to take someone out? Okay, she did not let that Lucius uh, ult. So we should be good. And she's still healthy. Yeah, she's doing some big damage. She's not there. She, Granny's not killing both of them. She'll get that old off and heal up a little bit. But we got 46 seconds, 40 something seconds to take her down. And we got two ults incoming to her head uh, before she gets hers. Yeet, you out of there. What is the next yeah, that item allowed her to survive. Damn, only if we had a mythic already. I don't even want to lock it. It doesn't even make sense to lock it. Nothing here. Uh, this one's okay. But uh, it's not better than what we have. So I think we, we transition into just straight up buffing our Sylvania as much as possible. So instead of giving the damage decrease to our tank, we're going to go straight just buffing her damage so she gets like an instant kill. Okay, this one prevents them from ulting, but it's a 60% damage increase. This is the one I was talking about, the Sword of Justice. We still have two lives up. We get a 15%. Um, which one of it? So that's not her ult. Marks the closest enemy in a symmetrical position. Flashes him and launches an attack when the battle begins. Okay. Uh, reduces target's vitality. Increases crit. Okay. Is it the crown that allows her to do that? True damage increase. She cannot be prioritized as a target eight seconds after using the skill. Each assist or kill on enemy hero grants extra attempt. Oops, sorry. Extra attempt to cast first strike again. Okay. Okay, yeah. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to buff her up. She's going to get 60% damage right here. And then she's going to get another 20%. She's she is almost getting 100% damage with just those item alone. And then her first strike skill is increased by 2.2 times. So if we take a look at this. Um, which one is it? Oh, it doesn't tell me the names of the, uh, the skill right here. Anyways, she's going to get shitload of damage basically. <laughs> let's just let's just think about it like that. So, here we don't really have anyone to put that on except for him for now because we just want to buff him up. Buff her up, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't need anything here. We are going to reroll again. Oh, that's also a huge one for uh Viperion. So, we definitely can get that on him next round. We'll go ahead and lock that because he is two away after that from Mythic. Uh, yeah, it's worth to roll one more time. Huge roll right there. We'll save that three. Not going to do anything. Huge roll right there. All right, we're making this crown work. I'm hoping we could take it all the way because that'll be this will be the last game for this uh, this video, I think. It's already been about an hour. I don't want to make you guys sit here all day. Man, this stage again. Okay, now we have to be careful, actually, because we have to... Okay, now we can do this. We can change this up a little bit. Great materials are everywhere. We can change this up a little bit. Let's turn the power. 
wheeled into a cemetery. We don't need to use her this time. I'm so glad I put that item on him, honestly, because them two have to go somewhere here. Yes. We have three spots open for this little combo to go in. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I hope I can get up on that Vala. Where do we need to go to get to her? They'll be safe right there. They'll be safe right there. But also, if they put anyone here, then we're going to jump to them. I think this is the safest bet to ensure we get back to that Vala. Because it is a like a direct... Whoever goes here will also be like a damage dealer as well. So, But... Yeah, we need to kill that Vala quick. But we have a better setup. Oh, we're killing that Cecia. But we'll flash that. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, that's not even fair. I'm telling you, this, this relic right here is not fair. How long was that battle? Does it tell me? 148k. It had... Let's see. Actually, replay this. Does it tell me the time? 89 15 seconds what is the next quest that was crazy 15 seconds she took him out mhm mm oh yeah girl we want you mythic dude do they even have does viperian even have time we're going to keep that locked he doesn't even have time to ult right now. It's almost not worth it. Please, bro. If they gave us three Sylvinas. Oh, there goes our myth. I sh you know what? I disrespected his name, bro. I should have got him the item. Uh, We'll go ahead and grab that right there. I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of... Uh, actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. We'll get the bonus points from using her to get a little bit more so we can get this. I'm going to reroll once, like I always do. And we got nothing. I got excited. I thought that was someone. Not anyone we want, though. Okay. Let's see what kind of position this puts us in. They will have no ultimates. This is the no ultimate one, right? Yeah, it stops them from using their ultimates. And they have wilder heroes energy recovery. Oh, okay. Everyone must uh, pay a price. Yes. Wield into a cemetery. Hmm, okay, yeah, I mean we need to take up some spots. She can go here. No, what are we doing? Great material. We can go there. That's one, two, three spots open for that combo. I'm sorry if I say that a lot. I'm just trying to explain. I know some people skip around videos, so maybe you didn't see it the first time I did it, second time I did it, or the hundred times that we did it. Bro, if we can delete... If we could delete this he win right here, nothing else matters. Let, let's just oh Rowan I mean not Rowan um, yeah. I'm telling you this crown what is busted 243k she doesn't even need an ult oh my goodness I, I'm Oh, I am going to roll for a mythic of her. I don't care if we use everything down to 15 and we miss out on this. We're rolling for a mythic. <laughs> the very next one. What is this? What is this shop luck? Some, I was just reading some comments where someone was saying I have the luckiest time in the shops. And I apologize. I, I, I apologize, but I don't. I apologize. You saw me got slapped twice before this. Uh, 
Dude, that is hilarious. Uh, if we can roll, I'm gonna lock that. Possibly we'll grab it. Man, this one's also good because we don't have a uh, we don't have a healer on the Graveborn team. But that's that's why this uh, this little combo works so well is because you don't really require a hero. The, the battle should be over with quick like that uh, if you're going Graveborn with the Sylvana crown, Sylvina crown, because um, everyone else is just there truly to give you just a little bit of extra stats and everything. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna, we're not gonna find anything. See this one right here? This is also another one. We could put this on someone and she just gets even more bonus stats from it. And I'm trying, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, there's the ring that gives you another bonus stats for the same faction. So we could potentially, we could potentially get her to about... 180% bonus damage with just items alone. Okay, same setup we got going on. And then we leave those three open. Yeah, we could potentially get her to some insane bonuses. What does this item do? That's the Arbiter the arbiter's armor i don't think this will immune to control effects uh you know what? we're gonna hope that they put some people over here so that way we could jump to them and get them out because jumping if there's no one over here then we might possibly not get that little busted little jumpy 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 combo because he has a revive, so I don't know if it counts as an actual death to her uh, skill or to the like the relic combo and everything. She's so healthy the whole time. The whole time. Sorry, I'm just looking around at some stuff right now, thinking. Yeah, let's get rid of that. We're not going to use that. six that's six percent more damage right there and she's protected because of the uh, crown she can't be targeted we're gonna hold that real quick that's a six percent increase damn they're just not giving us uh They're not giving us the thing that I wanted. Okay, yeah, let's take that off so we can kind of force it. We'll lock that. Wait, I bought the crown, right? Okay. Uh, crown needs to go on you. Wait, does this have to be on a... Okay, he has to carry the equipment. And then, no, wait, let me not mess this up. There 
go. If we... Oh, but then no one else is going to be able to hold it because I'm assuming that it also has to be on a mythic hero as well. Okay, let's just... Sorry, I'm thinking about something. If we're going to be able to do it anyways. No, I don't think we're going to be able to do it this round. We might possibly be able to do it um, next round. This is a safer bet for her. But we're slapping them cheeks right now. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me make sure I got everything on everyone. Okay, so we gave her another 15% basic stats off of just getting that item right there. She's going to be even stronger this round. And we need one more uh, Thorin. Unless we just win this round right now, which I'm assuming we most likely will. She is stacked beyond belief. I don't like this round. I don't like this stage though right here. Great materials are everywhere. Battlefields for present. Rook command. Yes, sir. That should be a pot. What does he have? That should be good to go right there. That's done and dusted, I think. Yeah, that's done and dusted. What is the <sighs> Run Sylvana Crown, Sylvina Crown, and you win. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Run that crown. Let's take a look at all their, can we take a look at everyone real quick? Sword of Justice, that's what I used on her. Um, he had the ultimate damage bonus for most of the thing. We transferred over to the Grandmaster Crown. Thorin, any tank item on him, obviously. He was a flex character, which we could have put this item on him or either of them. It could have been between either of those two characters. That way we can place him anywhere to give her the bonus. And then, uh... Yeah, we kind of just transferred out. Everyone, no one else's items really matter. But uh, there you go. That's that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look at this absolute murder that she just popped off with. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We made it up to uh, rank six, and we still have 27 attempts to go for the day. So uh, the first place person made a good stride. Uh, they, they, I think they're like just focusing 100% on honor duel on this server because their power level is not really reflecting that they're playing the actual game itself. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, thought he was on a different server. I was tripping for a second. But anyways, guys, thank y'all for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video.